Hey there you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It is time to review some of my February, my February favorites. And I am super excited. February seems to have flown by super quick, but I have several things that I wanted to share with you that I have been loving for this month. And yeah, so if you want to know what they are, then please keep watching. <laughs> So, my first favorite for the month of February is my hair. Look at it. Isn't it not like gorgeous? It is multi-tonal, straight up mermaid hair. So much fun i've had it for a a week today is march 8th i've had it for a week and a day i got it done the last day of february but it's still my favorite because how could it not be look at it look at me look at me love it so yes i me my hair is one of my favorites for the month of february I figure that I would start with skincare products uh, this month and move along that way. I don't have very many skincare products to share with you this month, mainly because I'm still loving my current routine. However, I did pick up a couple new things that are awesome for skincare. So the first one is this micellar water. This is from L'Oreal. Um, I am a new micellar water user when it comes to removing makeup and I bought this one at my local CVS to give it a whirl to see what the hype was and yeah it, it's pretty dope it it's more gentle I feel like than you know scrubbing your eyelashes out and stuff like that so I uh, use that when I'm taking my makeup off and I will also use it after I've used a makeup remover wipe to see exactly what all has been left if anything and oddly enough it still removes some makeup that has been left on the skin so my solar water is a no joke moving right along into our next skincare item is this right here uh, facial cleanser from Pacifica I was immediately drawn to the packaging because it's super cute. So I have been using this to wash my face in for the last like two weeks of February. And I have been oddly, oddly impressed with the way my skin has been looking and feeling lately. So this is a good one. I got it from Ulta and the packaging was too cute. Is this cute little serum. This is also from Pacifica Beauty and it is the Gem Serum Radiant Drops. There are lots of little um, iridescent sparkles in here and it too smells like watermelon and cucumber. I have been using it um, before I put my makeup on to just add a bit of hydration and some radiance to my face. Moving into some more makeup products, I decided that I would do eyeshadow palettes and some eyeshadows that I have been using and loving in the month of February. Uh, first up is this palette here. This is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Bright Lights Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. It's perfect, it's pretty, it matches my hair. It is the inside. It is super pretty. Super, super I'm pretty. I'm definitely drawn to the purple and this color here and that green. I have made a promise to myself in the beginning of 2018 that I was going to use more color in my makeup and I I think I've been doing a pretty good job of that. I thought that we would do a little swatchy swatchy of the palette. I will do this row here first. First up we have Smash. So here is Smash. Next up is Cupcake. It's gorgeous. It is what it is. I definitely probably need a primer or something. But look at my finger. It's gorgeous. On the finger. Next up we are going to swatch Punky which is this color here and it really does match my hair. It's like the exact same color as right here. Alright and there is Punky so we have Smash Cupcake 
punky here. Next up we have brulee. This one right here is brulee. It, it's a really pretty like color for transition. Next up is Pop Rocks, definitely one of my favorites in the palette. Alright, next up is Dreamsicle. This is like a neon, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is like a neon shade orange. There is Dreamsicle right below Pop Rocks. So we have Smash, Cupcake, Punky, Brulee, Pop Rocks, and Dreamsicle. All right, and here is Boom on the Finger. It's a really pretty, it's a like satin color, I would assume. It's not really metallic, but it's not matte either. I'm gonna swatch it right here. And it is a, an indigo shade. So that was the top row in the Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette. Let's do the bottom row. All right, so now we're gonna be doing this row here. I'm gonna start at this end and work my way down to this end. So first up is a glitter, and this is going to be Dazzle. Really pretty teal. Based on what Cupcake did, I don't believe this is going to swatch very, very nicely, but we'll, we'll pat it on and see if that makes much of a difference. It definitely needs some kind of adhesive. So right there is Dazzle, which looks way more pretty on my finger. Next up we have Glitz, which is like a metallic aqua color. It's really pretty. It looks super icy, so I'm going to put that right under Dazzle. Look at that. It's so pretty. Next up we have Cloud, which is a sky blue. So that'll be right under Glitz. It's pretty bold. I like it though. It's pretty. It's a pretty color blue. Next up we have Lit, which is this bright true yellow. That will be right under Cloud. It's like a canary yellow. It's super pretty. Next up is Tiki, which is this coral color, um, like a coral pink, and we'll put that right under Lit. Right, so there is Tiki. It looks really pretty. This one here is Becky. She's a bright hot pink. And there is Becky. Last, we have another glitter, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to swatch well on my arm. It'll look way better on my finger. This is called Tickle. It's a metallic pink glitter with red flakes. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't really swatch so great without an adhesive, but it looks bang out on my finger right here. Yep, so here is another shot of this beautiful palette and some of the swatches. This is the bottom row, well, the top row here, swatched. I love it. So that's a really, really cool palette. I love that most of the shades are matte and they're pigmented, they're buttery, they're easy to blend, and the palette itself was only like $25, so well worth it. Next up in my February favorites, this is the new Too Faced Life is a Festival palette and it is super cute. Like, look at that. How cute is that? Too Faced always nails it with the packaging and yes, so even the back is, is pretty. The front is kind of like a foam. It feels like foam. It's not just cardboard like the back. So it also has glittery unicorn. You can see it. So the packaging is super pretty. I have used this in several looks and videos that I hope to have uploaded here soon. But let's take a look at the inside. Here it is. It's like a little, little rainbow. It is super pretty. This is a highlighter and it is like an iridescent purple. Here's a bit of a closer look for you. I will definitely have a more in-depth um, swatch video on this one because I've been using it like crazy and it deserves its own video but here it is the palette next 
up in my favorites for eyeshadow palettes is the new Lime Crime Venus XL palette. It is super pretty and it's big and the packaging is gorgeous. It has a very large mirror on the inside. And here are all the shades. Isn't it a beautiful color family here? I was immediately drawn to this palette. Um, because of all the reds and the warm tones and just how fun it looked. So yeah, I was immediately drawn to this palette from this shade here. It's called Fresca. It is really pretty. I will swatch that one. Here it is on my finger. Sorry, the other ones are stained. Swatch of it right here. It's like a muted rosy taupe with gold flecks. Another shade that drew me into this palette was this shade right here, Botticelli. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a super deep, like, plum wine. And it's matte. Here it is on my finger, swatched. I will put it right here beside Fresca. That is just one, one swipe. And it's super, super super pretty so I was definitely drawn in with that one as well as ethereal which is this one right here my fingers are so stained all right this is ethereal on my finger it's a really pretty um, peachy pink let's do we'll put it right here it'll be beside Botticelli and there we have it so this is Ethereal, Botticelli, and Fresca. Definitely beautiful eyeshadows and definitely a really pretty part. I've got a few um, single shadows I wanted to share that I have been loving this month. This one is from ColourPop. This is the shade Sidekick. It's a super pretty like metallic bronze copper let's see i'll swatch it this is a finger swatch it's really pretty they say this is an ultra glitter eyeshadow is the finish i can see yeah i can see some some glitter flecks in there i will swatch it here one swipe It is really, really pretty. These next few um, eyeshadows are actually liquid eyeshadows. Two of these are from ColourPop. They're the Supernova shadows. Here's what they look like in their packaging. They're really pretty. Um, this one is Now or Never. Let's give her a swatch. That's what she looks like on the wand. We'll stick her right here beside the sidekick. It is super glittery, super fun, and they last forever on the eyeballs. There's literally no fallout, no caking, no creasing. They're really good. This one is Prelude, which is, well, a peachy pink. Let's give this one a swatch right here. It's like a duochrome. The next two eyeshadows are from Stila. These are their glitter and glow shadows. They are liquid, just like those other ColourPop ones are. I will swatch this one first. This one is Perlina. Here's what she looks like on the wand. And we'll swatch her right here. It's a really pretty, it's like a, a clear or a white base, kind of opalescent. This is Perlina right here with lots and lots of like fine multi-tonal glitter. And then we have Gypsy. 
which is another ultra glitter or an ultra glittery shade. We'll put her right here. It's purple, We've got flecks of gold and silver. I've used this one before. I've actually used, I've used both of these. And these are my two favorite from their new Bohemian collection. You see how pretty like Gypsy is? It's hard to, to get it to focus on that. So yes, so those are all of my single shadows that I have been loving for the month of February. You can't go wrong with any of them. They're amazing, especially if you love glitter, like me. All right, for my last group of products, I decided to include um, highlighters and the face products, but no foundation, no primer, none of that good stuff. Um, because I haven't tried anything new that stood out to me. So we're gonna start this one with this Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow Palette. I got the kit um, Daria and it is amazing. This is what the inside looks like. It has a very large mirror here. The pan sizes are very large. We have cream, a powder, and a duochrome. So this is the cream highlight here. It's beautiful. This is the cream blush. It's bright and beautiful. And this is the duochrome. It's a powder, but it is to a chrome. It has uh, like gold, a gold flip to it. And then we have the powder blush here. We have the diamond powder highlighter, and it is out of this world amazing. I can never get it to show up in photos as well as it looks in real life because it's like, oh girl, it is life altering. And then we have the glow extreme. Super pretty. I love this palette. I think it was well worth the price. Um, I have used every single one of these blushes and highlighters in, in my looks. And of course, there's Natasha Denona. You cannot go wrong. She, queen, she slayed it. She slayed it. All right, so the next few things I have are highlighters. This one is the new Stila Glitter Highlighter. I got the shade Monarch. I'll give her a swatch here, right here. These are a bit thicker in consistency than their Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. However, they can be sheared out really well. So this is Monarch and it has lots of like pink and glitter and purple glitters in there. Let's sheer her out. And that's what she looks like sheared out. And that's it on my finger right there. It's super pretty. I've used this before and it really packs a punch. And it doesn't move or transfer like the cover effects glitter drops do even when applied on top of my foundation that has been set with powder. Next up, I got a new color pop. Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. This one is in a glitter finish. This is Felicity. It is super pretty. It's pink, it's peachy, it's golden. It works well for my, my finger skin. I'm actually wearing it today. Here it is on the back of my finger. So my last product in my February favorites is a highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter collab with M. Reezy. And here's what it looks like on the inside. It is not glittery. It's a beautiful sheen and shimmer and shine. It looks perfect, like so radiant, like a natural highlight, but loads better. So let's swatch her. Here it is on the back of my finger. And I'll swatch it right here. There it is on the back of my hand. See, it's just like a sheen, but so, so pretty. Just one of those highlighters. It's like a sophisticated highlighter. If you want, you know, no glitter, but why would you not want any glitter? It is mind blowing. It is 
really good and then when people have like shown pictures of it and it, they really don't do it justice it's so much prettier in person and it's so much prettier applied on the face swatches here on the back of my hand do not do it any justice it it's amazing and i highly recommend that you get this highlighter it's it needs to be permanent it's like the highlighter that i will take with me when i travel if i only could choose one it would be this one and i know as a highlighter whore that like loves highlighters like that's it's hard for me to say that but i feel confident in that decision that this would be the one that i would take with me if i could only take one so yeah you need it all right you guys so that was my february favorites for february 2018 lots of glitter lots of eyeshadow lots of color um yeah nothing is better than adding some color into the world and you all know that i'm a glitter horror highlighter horror i love to sparkle to shine i am obsessed with color and with glitter and these products really are like right up my alley and if you love color and you love glitter and you love highlighters then yes i hope that you've seen some swatches of some products that you've been thinking about getting and wanting or a highlighter that you now know you can't live without <laughs> anastasia beverly hills by Anne Reese. so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on my social platforms, which I will link in the description box below. Bye guys.